musical area, uh, area. and uh, we made it. So it was, the, it was called the Mid Atlantic Music Conference. I did the Mid Atlantic Music Conference for th- about thirteen years or so. We had a hiatus in between, but we had a lot of independent artists that came out, man. A lot of signed, unsigned people that came through there, and that's how I met a lot of different connections, man. I met a lot of people behind the scenes, that you, you know, that you would never know. Uh, you said did this or did that, but we've had, you know what I'm saying, distribution companies, we've had entertainment attorneys, we had managers, we had production companies. Uh, I had, uh, towards the last year, I had, I forgot the name of these dudes, but they're actually uh, Pasta Noose's brother from De La Soul. He had a group, you know what I'm saying, he got a group and came out. I had um, my man from the uh, 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 um, Black Moon, um, I forgot the DJ name, uh, DJ, uh, Evil D, Evil, Evil D. D, Evil D came through, we had Evil D out there, you know what I'm saying, I had Evil D, I had, um, uh, like I had Parrish Smith a couple of years, several years Parrish came out, that's how I had the connection with Parrish Smith, he came out a couple of years, um, Cujo never made it, but he was about to come, but I think something happened right at the time he was coming out, we had, uh, we had Rico Wade out, Rico Wade had a group called The Connect. The Connect came before him. Guess who the lead? Why, the, know, why do I know that name, Rico Wade? Rico Wade is from the Dungeon Man. Rico Wade was the the okay, okay, executive producer behind. Okay. <laughs> he don't say organized noise. Why man. do I know that name? Like it's not a it's not an artist, but why do I know that name? Yeah, Rico Rico is big. So so Rico Rico had a group called The Connect. So the Connect came before him one or two different times, but the lead rapper for the Connect, which we didn't know at the time, how about this? Was Future. So we had Future at our event, you know what I'm saying, before he was Future. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you get all these different little things, man. These people be eating, man. These folks are not eating, you know what I'm saying? So my conference didn't make it big, you know what I'm saying? But we put a lot of people on. A lot of people met people. We had Nelly out a couple of times. I had Cam Newton at the thing because it was in Charlotte. Cam Newton came out to the conference. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he had on his, his, his Panther jersey. I'm like, wow. It's Cam Newton and Nelly and some other dude. You know what I'm saying? And he brought him through. You know what I'm saying? The first year we had um, uh, Mario. When Mario first came out with uh, Say She Just a Friend, they brought him through. Oh, baby, you. Yeah, when that song popped, back when he first started, he, they brought him through. So, like I said, there's a lot of people to grace the stage is what we did. It just didn't turn out financially what we wanted. And it's just, a, it's, it's just the way they work as an independent artist, man. Putting out that type of stuff. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's It's... It's tricky in, a, in an area like that. In Atlanta, if you put on a music conference and you got artists who are here and you say, uh, this dude from Virgin Records or this distributor or this whatever's coming out, people come to it. In an area like that, you've always got to throw out big names. You already got to have, okay, well, P. Diddy's coming or we're going to have a uh, Cash Buddy, Babies coming. You, know you got to have a name out front to attract the people to it because a, a real artist, you know what I'm saying? They don't know the back end, but when you're in a smaller market like that, they're like, man, you know what I'm saying? It, we actually set a stage up where we just had people walk up, pay us $100, and you can just perform. I mean, the line was so long all the way out the door because people just want to be heard. Artists just want to be heard. And it, <laughs> and it went on, man, from like 6 o'clock at night all the way to like 3 in the morning. That's how many we, we was like, man, we need to go get another stage. So we ended up with three stages at that, that, that time. You know what I'm saying? So it was crazy, man. But That sounds like the jump off, KC. <laughs> Bro, talk. That sounds like the jump off. Yeah, man. You look, hey, listen, me me, and, and G, man, we got stories for days of this crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Our conference that we did, man. We, it's a bad word that's right now, man. We won't even do no damn conference. Like, you know, people want to do a conference? Like, no. <laughs> And I, I believe it could work in Atlanta, man. I believe it could work, but it's just, it's another crop of, of people out here, and it's digitized, it's, it's more social, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, and, and people yeah. eating. But it's just a different way of putting it out there. It is. And you know what's crazy? And people, like, even you, uh, tell me, like, oh, well, you should still do music like like dogs. My, my music to me, in the era that I came up in, it was about what you was going through, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really going through nothing, you know, interesting right now. <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, my life, I got kids now. I'm, I'm, I'm a civilian. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a civilian. I'm a civilian. My dude, <laughs> I'm a civilian, and I'm not used 
to being a civilian. So it's like, as a civilian, I don't got nothing to talk about, man. You know, I, I really don't. I really don't. Like, man. Music, to me, it's entertaining when you're going through... Nah, nah, I still got my dark times, as y'all, as y'all know. You know what I'm saying? I had to do a couple weeks. Um, shit, that motherfucker's trying to get me to do a couple more right now as we speak. Bro. Um, so, it, 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 it's just different for me. You, you know, obviously huh? didn't listen to the end of my last show. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But the last show, there's no... There ain't nothing to hold you back from nothing, man. If you want to take this podcast to the next level, you do that. You say you ain't got nothing to talk about. You do got something to talk about, man. You got a whole lot to talk about. Yo, my son walked in here several times and checked on me like, yo, because he knows Saturday morning his father's in here doing this podcast. He don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I meant meant music-wise, PC. Like, like, I can't, like, to me, I can still rap, but if, if I'm rapping, anything that actually means something to me that's gonna move me, that's gonna make me write some shit. Right. It's stuff. It's stuff that. Ha- it's stuff that went down like years ago. You know what I mean? Like that. 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 That's what I meant when I was saying like. I mean, I ain't really. You know, I ain't popping right now. Well, well, let me ask you this. No, you know what? I am popping. I am popping because I'm not in the street, and I like the fact that I think moving to Georgia. Honestly speaking, was 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 the best thing that could have ever happened to me outside of my mom's moving me um, to Virginia because, like, I can't. I like dog. I can walk down the street right now. Um, no, I gotta keep my head on the swivel, but I ain't gotta worry about no beef. You know what I'm saying? I don't gotta worry right. about no problems with no niggas. I don't gotta worry about some niggas. You, good you, know, you know, his man's his, his man's <laughs> know what I look like, and they want to try to come and get you. Me. Highlight his girl. I don't worry about none of that. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And that's a whole different, it's a whole different feeling. I can walk outside and breathe in the air. You know what I'm saying? And feel good as opposed to I'm walking outside and it's like, all right, well, which one of these niggas I'm going to prepare for? And hopefully none of these motherfuckers know where I live right now. You know what I mean? Hey, that's true. Wait, I was really out there. I was really, I was, I was really out. That's why I was telling your boy G. It's like, you know, and, and I don't, this ain't, I'm not trying to praise this, you know what I'm saying, KC. Like, I, but 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 it was what I had to do for a certain for a certain period of time. You know what I'm saying. I don't want to praise this. It's not nothing. Like, I, I would much rather say I went to school. I went to you know I graduated high school and salutatorian at the very minimum and got a scholarship to college and and, and did what I had to do and, and live a successful life. But it just wasn't life that, that I was granted. It just wasn't the life that I lived. So, it's, it's, it's like, that's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes to music, it's like, yeah, like, right now, dog, like, I'm just, I'm just a ham and cheese sandwich. <laughs> it really ain't nothing to talk about, Listen, listen, Sluggo and Thorny, Sluggo said this in the Thorny co-sign, this, but Sluggo said, Mark Wade can rap about being responsible and raising kids, coaching them up to earn scholarships to college, etc. But Sluggo, let me ask you this, man. Let me ask you this. Who the hell you listening to rapping like that, man? Exactly. I mean, you're exactly. like, yeah, I'm exactly. raised by kids. Now, Struggle would listen to it because it's me, <laughs> you know, but that's it. <laughs> I got, look, look, I get about 170, I average about 170 something plays now that I'm in the afternoon, right? So I got about 176 people. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it, man. I feel, I feel where Slow is coming from, and I understand that, but Keisha, you used to rap too. That's true, but I ain't. You know what I'm saying? That's why. That's why I ain't rapping either, man. Because I can't talk about <laughs> this shit doing exactly. IT work. Exactly. You got right. problems with your PC. I, I, I can. I can um, granted, I can talk about being a good father, and you know what I'm saying, trying to do the best for my kids and, and shit like that. But nobody want to hear that shit, man. Well, yes. I, I, that well, Greg, Greg will say you can. Like Chris Rock say. Chris Rock say. Black people, uh, 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 black men want credit for shit they supposed to do. You know, I take care of my kids. Nigga, you supposed to. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Greg, Greg will say you can rap about podcast, pod, podcasting, kid raising, the Eagles, and HVAC. Yeah, I, I can't make that hot. <laughs> I, can't, I can't make that hot. I really can. You and, know what I'm saying? And, but, but Thorny says she listened to D1 out of the note, out of the NOLA. Now, D1 is dope. It is dope. I ain't going to lie. D one, D one is 
you know what I'm saying, a very nice MC, you know what I'm saying. And yeah, he does that positive stuff and he got he has his own buzz. He's got his own social or internet buzz. Yeah, I don't know no CDs or nothing. You know what I'm saying? He ain't getting that commercial push, but that's because they don't want him to have that commercial push. That's just this system that's in. So a cat does rap about some positive, they they holding that shit down. Like, nah, we don't need to keep putting this positive shit out. So there you go again. It's just like a podcast. It's just like you got your own your own circle. And you gotta push through and have you get your own buzz. That's the only way that's gonna work. Uh she said I can rap about I can rap about how blacks are excluded out of STEM. <laughs> yeah. I mean, hey. I mean, for real, it can be done, man. I'm just like, but is y'all gonna buy it? Cause y'all sure is talking about what we can rap about, man. Him, me and him put us an album out about damn uh not voting and shit or you know what I'm saying, y'all gonna come and listen to it, you know what I'm saying? It's like so much of that that you really gonna put out there, but Doing dirt, man. Y'all gonna love that. You know what I'm saying? If if, if microwave talk about putting his hands on somebody, you know what I'm saying? Go back into his past. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. It is. It is what it is. I, I find it very hard. Like you know, like you said, when you're used to a certain thing, it's kind of hard to kind of switch it up and do something different. Like you're not used to that. <laughs> Thorne said, if we don't make it, then how can they buy it? So, hey, she's like, go ahead and try it. See what happens. Yeah, man, let's see what happens, man. Go on and do it, man. My man, G got like 200 tracks, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We shoot some buddy, some some, uh, some tracks over to you and see if you can make something out of it. Maybe we can, you know well, what I'm saying, know, do that old. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Scorpio, you know what I'm saying, um, KC. Not only am I a Scorpio, I'm the first day of Scorpio. So, I hold grudges. Like, I'm not going to lie to you. When um, when they threw me out of college and I couldn't play basketball no more and the whole, you know, NBA dream was dead, I didn't watch basketball for like four years. Same thing with music. <laughs> like when <laughs> when the music, when the music dream, like, I don't want to say died, man, but that's, that, that's, that's the word to use. When the music dream died for me, dog, I don't listen to rap music. I mean, outside, like I said, stuff that I listen to now, but I didn't, you know, I didn't listen to rap for, I didn't listen to the radio for like a good two, three years, you know what I'm saying? Like, I hold grudges, like, and it's, I, I, I don't understand it because it's not like rap music did anything to me or that basketball did anything to me, but for the fact that I felt like I could be somewhere that I wasn't, and it was just snatched away from me, so I feel. You know what I'm saying? Like, I held the grudge. Right. I held the grudge. And I just was like, I don't want to listen to no nigga on the radio who I feel like I'm better than. Okay. I don't want to watch on TV mm. some dude balling who I know I would tear his ass up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was just like, <laughs> like I hold grudges. And that, that's one of my flaws. That's one of my flaws. You know what I'm saying? I ain't fake to admit um, but that's just what it was. That's just what it was for me, man. Like I still get my moments now, especially especially when I get high, allegedly. Um, you know, I, I I get high allegedly, and I be chilling and I hear beat. I'm like, God damn, like yo, I will murder this shit. You know what I'm saying? But even I don't know if you heard the Soul Gone Challenge that I did um, on Spicy Show. Yeah, yeah, but I did yeah. the Soul Gone Challenge. Like that was off of real life experience. It wasn't. Like, I can't just make something up. It's, it's, I mean, I guess reality. I could. It's reality. But I'm, not good, I'm not good at it. I'm good at talking about what happened or things that happened and making it really entertaining. You know what I'm saying? Oh. So it's, just, it's just different to me. So being the fact that there's really nothing going on to me that's interesting, nothing like that in my life, you know, I mean, yeah, I'm doing the right thing. I'm raising my kids. I'm a civilian. Somewhat of a civilian, even though my head's on a swivel. <laughs> but still in all, you know, it, 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 it's just different. Like, everything takes a different, I, I don't know, man. Maybe that's one of my downfalls is, is, is the way my mindset is, you know. But that's, that's, just, that's just my mindset, Keithy. Like, I, I can't rap about stuff that I ain't doing. I can't make something that's boring to me sound like it's cool. That's true. Bro, <laughs> it's been wonderful, man. It, she... 
She even said, I'm, I'm going on to the third hour to something new. No, no it ain't. Because I seen, I, seen, I seen a glimpse of my wife walk by. I think she was on the phone, but I just saw her, man. She did the wrap it up beast.